Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for my lovely Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Libra, I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and staying safe uh, above all. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. I do want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations or spell work, we have open calendar. It almost has felt like this whole year we've been extremely booked, um, but now we have availability. So if you guys are interested, definitely reach out. I will be responding to everyone. Um, also, we have tons of new videos coming through as well as uh, the series that we've been working on we've been talking about for a while uh, for those of you guys that are interested in learning how to interpret the cards that's definitely going to be coming out as well and a bunch of whole things i will be announcing as we progress anyways let's get into your reading libra spirit guides ancestors and archangels what are the messages for libra sun moon rising venus for the month of october 2021 regarding their love life what is it that they need to know at this present time what is unfolding before them libra sun moon rising venus libra sun moon rising venus oh all right we're starting off here with the ten of pentacles stability is the theme here this is you guys really trying to I feel like a lot of you guys are currently experiencing like the testing of people's loyalty to you. Um, and this could be through not necessarily, you know, putting them through obstacles, but just being very attentive of the way people express themselves in conversation. Um, I feel that you guys are a bit like focused very heavily on loyalty and what brings peace to you. And I think that this is something that is going to be taking place throughout this month of October. Um, but more so, what they're showing me here is Spirit is saying that they will be revealing to you, Libra, those that are around you that want or have the best interest at heart for you and those that like to portray themselves as if they care for you. Um, but I feel that you will definitely be picking up on that energy for sure. Now, the next card here is the Nine of Wands. So, guarded. Um, for some of you guys, you know, you guys are really putting effort and energy towards focusing on either the type of relationship you're wanting to bring towards you. For others of you, it's like acknowledging or feeling that you're at a point in your life right now where you're ready or you're wanting some type of commitment, some type of... Um, Basically, I'm hearing to start to create or start to live my life is what I'm hearing. And that can represent looking, you know, dealing with people or dating people that you deem worthy of you. This is you. It's kind of like dating with purpose. It's like you're dating to find your wife or your future husband. You're not, you know, going to waste your time or waste your energy on people that are not you know really that don't necessarily that you can't necessarily see yourself being with for the next two years um so i feel that for a lot of you guys especially those of you guys that are single i feel like you're you've, you're taking a back seat you're not really wanting to uh meddle with those that are you know in the fast lane i feel like you're more taking the the back seat um just pretty much scoping those that are best or that you can actually see yourself dating um again i'm hearing dating with purpose so this is you basically like i said looking for your future husband or your future wife not really wanting to waste time or energy the next card here is the empress card so i definitely do see a person that is around you or someone that has uh, either gotten your attention and this could be your partner as well for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship the Empress card is always a representation of the loving motherly type of energy. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, this is in retrospect what you're desiring at this point in your life. You know, the, 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 the woman that you can see yourself having children with or the man that you see yourself having uh, children with. And more than anything to construct and to start building a life of your own with them. And that's the type of energy that i'm definitely sensing and that i'm definitely feeling 
with the Empress card, this is a representation of your alignment, Libra. This is the Venus card. This is a representation of Venus and that of seeking or being ready to fully embrace love, authentic love, that connection, that person that is right for you, that person that you're willing to open up with the Queen of Cups, that you're not scared to open up because you're not having to worry you know, about showing your vulnerability because you don't want to be taken for granted or taken advantage of. I see you guys have gone through this cycle where now you're much more open. And the reason why you're open is because you know exactly what it is that you want, the chariot. You're going towards your goals and aspirations and you're ready. You're ready for a higher type of commitment or you're ready for some type of long-term relationship and you're ready to fully embrace this. The next card here is the death card. So for those of you guys that are single, I definitely do see the conclusion of singlehood. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with water, energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, as I do see uh, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio here. Um, they're also telling me here that there is a transformative type of energy where at some point for some of you guys, you could have felt like, you know, maybe marriage or maybe commitment wasn't something that you were ready for. And all of a sudden, this retrograde, right? We've had all these planets in retrograde. Saturn uh, just recently went direct, and we have Mercury going direct on the 18th. So this is a clear, uh, crystallized uh, knowing or idea of what it is that you want, and you're going for it. You're going to be much more aggressive at the end of the month of October, Libra, when it comes to chasing the person that you want or chasing the, the particular partner that you're looking for. And that's quickly going to be, the energy is going to be very receptive, meaning that there is a person that's coming towards you that is going to meet all this criteria or all these uh, hopes and desires that you've been hoping or wanting to fight in a partner. So very beautiful reading, Libra. I want to wish you guys the very best. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.